trekking, euh, les vêtements euh, qui tiennent chaud, tu vois, genre. Et après, sinon, c'était pas un médecin. On a vu la raison de l'équipe. On a vu les soldats. Ok, à Betadine. I'm coming here because um, I think that the Ukrainians are doing the war, the war for us, they're fighting for us. So um, I'm European, I'm German, half German, half Belgium, I'm living here in France and I think that they're fighting for us, for our freedom. So we just have to stop Putin and we have to help them. That's why. Same with medicine. Um, I have uh, friends, they are doctors or nurses, they gave me stuff. And all the uh, warm clothing and gloves for uh, the soldiers, the Ukrainian soldiers. <laughs> Давай, давай, я... это все, да? Вот здесь, смотри, Даш. Yeah, we are volunteering. We try to help some, to help some humanitarian aid for Ukraine. We have some hygienic stuff. We have some food and medicines. We don't take uh, any clothes because there are too many, and we try to concentrate on the stuff that are really valuable as medicine and food and actually child food as well like there are plenty of children who are right now in shelters and they can't escape that so we just try to help them and try to make their lives a little better you know it's it's it's, it's extremely sad story it's extremely sad situation it's it affects everyone you know and uh, i'm sorry my, fa my, my family is in, in kiev my brother is just 10 years old and my mother created a shelter inside our house to help other children that's terrific just just the idea of it it's Absolutely impossible to imagine this can happen in 2022. It's, it's really hard to explain how many trucks we have per day because it depends. And why? Seriously. Uh, they go from Paris to Poland and then they re redirect it to the places where they need the items. Yeah, it's, it's like, for example, we also have like, a, but, uh, even inside the medical department, we have some departments like uh, 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 emergency emergency bags, like temper bags or some kids stuff. So it's, it's, it's a, it seems to be messy, but it has such a really nice organization and it's really hard to manage it in such a small space and we don't know each other but we are still but all of us here are trying to help and trying to do our best to improve okay. I spoke to my family yesterday via call, and uh, I don't know, it's, people are, it's hard to explain their, their current situation because I guess their mental state protects them. So they try to be optimistic, but at the same time they're really tired. It's, it's really uh, un ununderstandable how can you, how, 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 your, how your mental state can cope with all of this, with anger and uh, scared all the time. It's, it's a constant idea that someone may take your life or, or, li or take the life of people you love so it's hard so when, when i talk to them we just try to cheer up each other and uh, that's all because we, we try not to talk about something really depressing or because otherwise each call may be the last one